So in today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating a single arm dumbbell row, or in my case, a single arm massage gun row. Phase one, I'm going to start with the massage gun low phase, and then I'm going to pull like I'm trying to start an old lawnmower, finish here. That was the end of phase one. Phase two is the eccentric portion of this motion, where I'm going to be controlling the massage gun on the way down. Boom, that's the end of phase two. For today's video, we're going to be focused on phase one, the pulling the pulling motion of this. So, starting at the bottom, I'm looking distally, working my way proximally, looking at joints. Starting here, the radial ulnar joint, I'm not getting a lot of supination nor pronation. So therefore, this is an isometric contraction for that joint and those muscles. Nextly, I am working my way proximally, looking at the elbow. I'm starting with a straight elbow here, finishing with a bent elbow. This is a flexion of the elbow. Therefore, I'm working the flexors of my elbows, which include three muscles, the biceps brachii, brachioradialis, and the brachialis. Nextly, I'm looking at the glenohumeral joint. Boom, I have done extension. This being flexion, this being extension. I'm getting extension in the glenohumeral joint. I'm getting some post delt latissimus dorsi, low pec, and Terry's major. Lastly, I'm looking at the scapula and the shoulder girdle. What I'm getting here in this pulling motion, I'm getting retraction of the shoulder blades, or shoulder blade in this case. I'm working the mid trap and the low trap as well as the rhomboids. This motion, as you can see, it goes from here to here. I'm working in this plane of motion, the sagittal plane of motion, so therefore a frontal axis of rotation.